Internationally recognized for her groundbreaking research on heavy elements, Darlene Hoffman has made extraordinary contributions to the field of nuclear chemistry. Her scientific leadership and service to the community helped to shape the field's direction, and her mentorship inspired generations of students. As an undergraduate at Iowa State College, Hoffman took Nellie Naylor's chemistry class. Naylor inspired Hoffman to undertake the academic trajectory that would lead to her remarkable career. At Los Alamos National Laboratory, she worked on projects in the field of nuclear chemistry. Then, it was believed that transuranium elements did not occur in nature. But in 1971, in what Glenn Seaborg termed an experimental tour de force, Hoffman became the first person in 60 years to find a primordial heavy element in nature, plutonium-244. Later, her discovery that atoms of fermium could split spontaneously became integral towards creating methods to inexpensively store nuclear waste away from the environment. Hoffman also developed medical applications of nuclear chemistry, especially for diagnosing and treating cancer. In 1984, Hoffman came to Berkeley Lab to lead the Heavy Element Nuclear and Radiochemistry Group. She also began teaching in the chemistry department at UC Berkeley. Here, as at Los Alamos, she inspired generations of young women to pursue careers in this field. She also worked on several collaborations with teams at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. At Berkeley, Hoffman and colleagues spearheaded a renaissance in the one atom at a time study of heavy element chemistry. In a talk with Brady Heron in 2012, she described the process she and her team had to undertake. We would irradiate samples in the cyclotron down there and then um, take the sample out take the from the radiation area put it in a lead pig put it in the car and then drive all the way up here hell bent for breakfast and bring it into our uh, laboratories in the building right behind you we wanted to look at things that had minute half-lives or multiple minutes that was about as good as we could do with that method in 1994, Hoffman confirmed Al Giorso's earlier discovery of Element 106, naming it after her colleague and mentor, Glenn Seaborg. Later, she led a team that made stunning discoveries at the frontiers of the periodic table. All good experiments happen late at night when you're ready to quit. It's when you think you just can't go on and you do the little extra experiment or little extra thing that's necessary to pin it down. And I've found that many times. 